Right. Hello, girls. How are you today, Elena? Hello, lady. I'm absolutely fine and ready to work. I'm sure it will be interesting. Right. Anissa, hello. And how are you today? Hello. I'm very well today. And you, lady? I'm fine. I've uh, been busy this morning, but now we have this nice uh, break in the afternoon to be together and do some things together. Today I have chosen this unit, it's called home. So the things will be related to home or the house. Right, oh dear, I forgot. We have the idioms like we normally have, right? Mm -hmm. So if uh, Elena would like to read the number one. To get under someone's skin. Ah, it's in, to annoy someone, yes, yeah. yes. So continue till you for three sentences more. To bother or ir irritate someone. Irritate. Irritate. Mm -hmm. She gets under my skin when she shouts. When my brother interrupts me, he gets under my skin. Right. Mm -hmm. So as normal, we all have to give an example. So mm -hmm. we realize what this is about. So we have to think about it maybe a little bit. I agree with she gets under my skin when she shouts. That makes me yeah. very nervous when people shout. I, I, don't, I can't react when people are shouting. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm thinking of one now. Um, when people uh, jump the queue in the supermarket, it gets under my skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, Elena. Uh, to continue to read, Mate? Yeah, the same one. We're going to do an example of this first one to get under someone. Uh -huh. To give you an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I try. Uh, uh, don't be late uh, on my meetings because I know that uh, if I do, I will get under some people's skin. So you will get under somebody's skin. Somebody's skin. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, Nisa? Mm. Uh, I don't know, but because I have a the similar example of this. What about lazy people at your work, at your job? Oh, oh. They get me and under the skin, not under my skin. <laughs> right. So when somebody, one of your colleagues, is it's lazy, lazy, they get under your skin. They get under my skin, yeah. Right. So you yeah, must be careful. You have to change the person or the object depending what you're talking about. No? Okay. I, I can put the person before. They right. get so me... They get under my skin. Uh, well, you would say my colleagues at work, when they are lazy, they get under uh, my skin. My skin, okay, okay. Right, the next one, Nisa. To make yourself at home, treat my house as yours. I always tell my friends uh, to make themselves at home. My best friend makes himself at home when he visits me. Yes, when you make yourself uh, very good, like at home. Right, sometimes I have visited people and uh, I couldn't make myself at home because the house was so tidy. Ah, oh, yeah? Yes, they had like the cushions, the this, the, and so I didn't feel comfortable. So I didn't, uh, feel, uh, I couldn't make myself at home in the house. I was like that and I was afraid yes. to move. Maybe a little bit uncomfortable, yes. Yeah. Right, Elena. Uh, uh, when a guy from uh, the USA uh, live in my family, I was a host family for him. I did uh, my best that he could uh, make yourself at home. So you did your best, so they or he felt at home? Yes, that he uh, felt 
yourself at home. Right. So when someone comes to your house, you do your best so they feel as though they're at home and they feel at ease. That's an expression. They feel at ease. They feel calm when they're at your house. Mm -hmm. Anissa? Um, after a lot of meetings, when I'm with you, my friends, <laughs> uh, you make myself at home. You make me feel ah. like uh, I'm at home. Or you make me, mm -hmm. yeah. Myself? Yeah, you make me feel as though I'm at home. Ah, okay, make me feel. So sometimes like it's home. a bit complicated. What well, depends what goes. So after so many meetings, now I feel as though I'm at home. Yes. Yeah. So you can change it a little bit, but the idea is there, right? So this is why we try to practice it because you can't because just change. use it literally the way it's written, maybe. Now, when we talk about a house, we need to talk about rooms, mm -hmm. adjectives to describe mm -hmm. the house or the rooms, the type of houses and the furniture. Do you understand when I say furniture? Yes. Right. So furniture means all the pieces. I'm trying to think how to explain. All the pieces inside the house, maybe a table, a bed, uh, a chair. This would be furniture. It's the family of all the things in the house. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, Elena, do you live in a flat or in a house? I live in a flat, and I think about floor. I live on the fifth floor. You live on the fifth floor. So this is an expression we need to learn, no? So you can say, I live in a block of flats on mm -hmm. the fifth floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right? correct. And how many floors are in your block of flats? Uh, nine. So uh, I think there's another expression, just let me think. Uh, I live in a nine story block oh. of flats on the fifth floor. Interesting. I, I live in the, uh, on, I maybe live. one more time lady, I live in the nine. I live in a nine story block of flats okay. on the fifth floor. I will write it in the post later. Don't worry, okay. I will write Thank it you. in. It's more complicated. So for example, in, in England, UK, I never lived in a flat until I came to Spain. And it was a really unusual uh, sensation for me, right? Mm -hmm. I lived in a house which had two floors, the downstairs and the upstairs, and a front garden and a back garden. That was mm -hmm. my but normal place to live. And it's a... a a lot of people in England live like this, and um, fewer people live in flats. And you, Nisa? I live in a block of flat uh, on the um, <laughs> not first for, uh, first floor, but uh, between under. <laughs> no, oh, the under. ground floor. The ground. No floor. ground. No ground. I don't know. Uh, in Italy. Um, there is a um, uh, the garden, and then mm -hmm. the door, and the, my my fra my the ground my flat floor. The ground, ah, ground floor. Ah, not yeah. underground. So in the UK and America, okay. we have ground floors or first floor. So I can't ground. remember. So in one um, country, floor. you say the ground floor, and in another country, you would say the first floor. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, for example, I live on the first floor. You come in the, um, the door, the main door, but I have 18 um, stairs, and then that's my house, but because it's on a hill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, but I'm still on the first floor. There's nobody um, underneath me, right? Uh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, as long as you need uh, first floor or ground floor, and then you start to count up, right? Okay. Uh, for example, uh, I don't have a beautiful view out of my windows. 
maybe if we were on the top floor, we would have a nice view. It's yeah. a possibility. But you have to remember to say on the first floor, on, on mm -hmm. the second floor. Because Round that floor. happens, uh, my students forget to say on, they could say in, I think. They use something yeah. else. I always confused about that, on or in. <laughs> now right. I know. So you have to try and just learn it with the thing that you're using if you don't understand the concept. So here we have uh, the names of the places in the house, right? So Elena, if you read this side and Nisa can read the other side. Bathroom, bedroom, dining room, terrace. 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 Living room, balcony. Top. Now we'll go for Nisa. Stars, kitchen, hall, garden, garage. 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 Right. So a bathroom. A bathroom, let's see. Everyone has different concepts of different things. No? So a bathroom for me has a bath or a shower and a toilet. So, for example, I have two bathrooms. But, for example, in my mother's house, she had a bathroom and a downstairs toilet. Yeah, yeah. Right? I and sometimes they call the toilet the WC, water closet. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> I've seen it in films. Then you have the, uh, the bedroom. Now, there's one word here that's not here. Living room. Mm -hmm. living room or sitting room it's not here because the dining room uh, elena do you know what the dining room classically is referring to uh, i think it's a room where people uh, have dinner and uh, have their meal right but not in everybody's house you can have the space to have this so you would have something which is called a living room or a sitting room that's where you have the sofa or the couch with the television. Mm -hmm. So it's not written. Ah, it is written here. I didn't see it. It's at the bottom, right? The living yeah. room. So the yeah. living room, you can say living room or sitting room. Mm -hmm. Living room depends how much space you have. A living yeah. room could be the bigger room and the sitting room could have been a very small room. Okay. Because years ago in Spain, we used to have a room for visitors <laughs> that mm -hmm. we never used, which was very uh, beautifully decorated. <laughs> and then you had like a sitting room where we lived as a family, all crushed together like this, watching the television. <laughs> uh, but then with times it changed. So we sit in the living room. And I, for example, have my dining room table in my living room. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, I have the sofa down one end with the television, and in the same room up the other end, I have the dining room table with the chairs for eating. Because my kitchen isn't big enough to eat there. In my kitchen, it's too small. So, so depending just on the space on your, you have. Sorry? Mm -hmm. You just to cook on your kitchen, and then you take your uh, food, food to the living room. To the living room. Well, mm -hmm. I have like an American bar, which is just a strip like that, but yeah. I would look at the wall. So I don't prefer to do it, <laughs> right? So if I wanted, I could, but my kitchen is very long and narrow. And it's one mm -hmm. of my uh, disadvantages of my house because I couldn't change it. So I like my kitchen, but I would have liked a bigger one. So I could sit there and eat breakfast and maybe dinner, not lunch maybe, but some of my meals, no? Mm -hmm. Is there any words we don't understand? So this would be uh, maybe the hall. The hall. Right? This yeah. would be the hall and the stairs that go up if you had two floors. So we say upstairs and downstairs. Mm -hmm. And then I think everything else is okay. No? Yeah. And the terrace, the difference between a terrace and a balcony. Uh, a balcony for me could be just a very uh, narrow strip outside mm -hmm. the bedroom where you could stand outside with nothing else. And a terrace is a bigger area where you could put tables and chairs outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Like, so balcony have... for me personally is just a very narrow area. A small area. Definitely. And then a terrace would be uh, bigger where you could do more things outside. Yes, understand. Right? So I think that's explained, not too complicated that. Now, why do we do types of houses? Because in the UK, we have types of houses. Mm. So, Elena, where you live, where do people live? In flats or in houses? Uh, mostly in flats. Mm. But there is uh, some neighborhoods where people live in houses also. Yeah, but there are few people, a few people. But less than in flats. Flats mm. are more common type of uh, so people and uh, normally the flats are high like nine floors or anything that's a normal number nine or eight it's like a three five or nine right the most uh, common types mm -hmm. because in some inner cities you can find flats which are skyscrapers no yeah, and I feel sorry for the people who have to live there. Anissa, where you live? I like uh, Elena here uh, in my city. We we live uh, in the flat. Uh, right. But uh, if you live in a house, different. it's more expensive. You need land not to live in a house. Mm -hmm. So here where I live, it's very small. And uh, people fight for a flat because we haven't got that much land to uh, build uh, flats. And there are uh, a few houses, but they're in the, like the mountainous areas. Okay. But not in the inner city, in the inner city, mm -hmm. not. So we're just going to go through this as vocabulary so that you know if anyone said something about a house in the UK, the different kinds of houses that we have, because they do exist, the different kinds of houses. So, Nisa, can you say the first one? Detached, detached, detached house. house, detached house, detached house. Single home is not attached to any other building. So, like the name detached. gives you the idea. Detached, it's just one house by itself, mm -hmm. and no neighbors around the outside. You would have garden or a space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elena, the next one. Semi-detached house attached by a common wall to another similar house. Right. Mm. So semi means that one of the walls is next to your neighbor. So mm -hmm. you share a wall with your neighbor, one. And the other one okay. is free. Right? Uh, the next one, Nisa. Terrace house. A long row of houses of narrow attacked with a common wall. They usually look the same. Yes. Right. So a terraced that. house, like you can see in the picture, it's a row of houses, a line of houses, you might. And this is a more uh, normal thing to see. Mm -hmm. And you have neighbors next to each other. Interesting. I never heard that word. A word a detached house. I'm curious why I never. Well, detached house, you can imagine you have to be middle class or rich, uh -huh. depending on the area, no? Not everyone can afford the land to have a detached house. And normally, mm -hmm. detached houses are built in nice places. <laughs> I'm so poor that I even didn't have the word, <laughs> not in <real. laughs> Right? Uh -huh. So we've got detached semi-detached and terraced. So mm -hmm. we are learning the culture of the UK. Mm -hmm. And it may be in your country, you will never use these words, but if you see them, then you will realize what they are. Mm -hmm. Right, are mm -hmm. we ready? Uh, Elena. Um, block of flats is a large building divided into flats, apartments, where all of them share a front door. That's my house, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like that. <laughs> but that for me is a skyscraper. If I had to live there, I would be very unhappy. So I live in a flat, but if I had to live in that block of flats, I would be more unhappy. 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, Nisa. Bungalow, a house yeah. usually small that has all its rooms on one le level. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is a nice uh, kind of place <laughs> to live. Now, a bungalow, uh, people, <coughs> excuse me, who've got a little bit of money, or maybe old people who can't go up the stairs. Because mm -hmm. yeah. remember in England, England, we have the upstairs and the downstairs. And I used to remember uh, in my, when I went to visit my sisters, I used to put things at the bottom of the stairs. And then when I had a lot of things, I used to take them up the stairs. I didn't go up the stairs every time I needed to get <laughs> something up the stairs because I got used to living in a flat and I don't need to use stairs a lot. I so I started putting things on the first stair. And when I've got four or five things and I'm going up, <laughs> I take them up with me, for example. Uh, so bungalow is a nice place to live. You can see from the picture. Mm -hmm. The next one. Cottage, a small house, usually in the countryside. So it could be similar to a bungalow, but it's in the countryside. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can get, I can think the pictures are helping, no? Now a cottage, you would need money. A bungalow, you need money. You can see just from there, because uh, if it's uh, with the land and one thing and another. Right. Right, so we're going to do a few questions. Do you have all these rooms wow. in your house? So the rooms that we have mentioned, Elena, okay. do you have them all? Or are you are missing some rooms? Mm, I have three rooms in my house. It's a living room and uh, bedrooms. I have a kitchen and uh, a bathroom is uh, separated with a toilet. It's two different rooms. And I have uh, three, three balconies, uh, all of them in different sides of street, and I like it. Uh, one of my balcony is, um, has a view on an uh, old castle, and uh, when sun, uh, sun not rise, but sun down, <laughs> uh, it's very beautiful view. Oh, yeah. it sounds like it as well. Uh, and you, Nisa? Uh, I, I have a, a little hall and uh, I have a living room, a two ba bathroom, mm -hmm. and I have a little kitchen like you, Letty, and a dinner room, and, and then uh, two bathroom, one normal and one very small. Yeah, for emergencies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's a, a place where you put a um, thing uh, and my, because this is the house uh, uh, um, of um, the, my parents-in-law, parents-in-law. Yeah. My, my, when, where my, um, my husband uh, grew up and the, uh, he is very happy to be here in this house. Yeah, because all his memories are in that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they changed this uh, little uh, room in, uh, in uh, the second ba ba bathroom, but it's very small. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as it works, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I live in a big house for me now uh, because everyone has left. Uh, I have living room, dining room, like I said before. Uh, I have three bedrooms, a narrow kitchen, a room which I call the ironing room, but it could be a bedroom if I wanted to. So I put everything in there. I've got like a, a built-in wardrobe that I put everything there that I don't know where to put. And I have another bathroom down there. But I never use that bathroom. I always use the one near my bedroom. And the wonderful terrace. Oh, yes, I have a nice terrace that I showed you the picture. Very nice. Yes, yeah. uh, I must admit, uh, I don't need to go out. I just look through the window and I can see the plants. And I have, Elena, I will send you a picture one day. Uh, I have the <laughs> uh, lights that are powered by yeah. the sun. Fantastic. So during the day, they are, 
I don't know how to explain. They are like uh, taking the sunlight and then at mm -hmm. night they automatically come on the lights. Fantastic. It looks like um, a fur, all like red, blue, green, all different color lights, for example. The sunset is fantastic. I remember. So uh, that is, is um, my pride and joy is my terrace. Sometimes I'm silly because I don't sit out there very often, but I do look through the window and I enjoy to look at the plants. Yes, it's good. The next question. Would Excellent. you make any changes in your house, Elena? I'd like to have uh, one room more in my house um, because I have two sons and a daughter. And my daughter every day uh, says me that she dreams about her own room. She wants her space, something pink, something cute, something tender. But she lives with two boys and uh, it's not good. <laughs> I would like to... Not begin. ideal, no? I understand this because when I was a child, I lived with my uh, two sisters in a very small bedroom and my brother had the other bedroom, which was bigger. And I kept asking my mother, please, please. And she said, OK, we will convert the garage into your bedroom. Convert mm -hmm. is to change into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like convert. Yeah. And just when I was leaving in 18, my mother converted the garage into a bedroom but I yeah. never used it. So <laughs> three sisters living in a space like this is very complicated because we were on top of each other. So I understand even if you are the same female or male, you like to have your own space. And Nisa, what would you like to change? Well, I don't know because uh, this is my husband's house. And then- uh... No, but it's like- uh, a thing, not that you're going to do it. No, but uh, he's very happy to have uh, all the things uh, the same. And but this house, uh, I like this house, so I, I don't, I don't know what I want to change. We when when we went here. Oh, when. when we came here, uh, came, <laughs> came here, uh, we changed some furniture, uh, like a living room, like our bathroom, bathroom uh, um, table and chairs. So we did uh, some changing uh, three years ago. And now I'm, I'm happy like this. The, I, we don't have uh, big uh, rooms. But it's enough because we are only three of us. So mm -hmm. I understand Elena perfectly. Uh, this is my son's bathroom. It's mm -hmm. not big, but he is alone, so he's. I have just thought of something. Just think, if the bed, if the rooms were bigger, you would have more to clean. <laughs> yes, in fact, in fact, no, no, it's, everything is uh, perfect. And in this moment, we change. Uh, I don't know how it gets the light. The light in, in every room and then recently. Like, so two little before. things you need to change. Really, yes, yes, little thing because uh, he loves this house like this. Uh, and every space has uh, a special food. memory or something. Yes, that yeah, yes, yes. So uh, he's happy and so I am happy. Yes. <laughs> like happy. I said before, when we were all here, I would have liked to change the kitchen bigger. Uh, ah, okay. Because only like one or two people can be at the same time there. But some, uh, and some we people can't eat there. But not complaining, I just said I would like to change it. And now as I live here by myself, uh, they are thinking of selling the house for a smaller one. But I can't find a terrace. Ah, so okay. this is what's mm -hmm. stopping me from changing to a smaller place because I don't need such a big place. And they said, you're never going to find a terrace. And I'm thinking... Well, I'm not going to move then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because fine. if I have to live in a flat and I don't have a terrace, I think I would be claustrophobic inside uh, no, yeah, yeah. this little no, no, no. space because I don't go out that often. Mm -mm. Uh, right, uh, can, Elena. Can you um, remove uh, the wall uh, between kitchen and... No, because room? there is a column. A column uh, that yeah. belongs to the whole house, to Me the too. whole block of the house. So uh, it was in the okay. wrong position to make it okay. bigger. We were I'm going to take curious. space from a big bedroom. We were going to take a wall from the big bedroom 
okay. and make the kitchen, but it wasn't worth the trouble for the little space that we could uh, gain from this. Right. Do you have any different rooms in your house? No, I think we all have the same rooms, no? Oh, different? What means special room? or No, like it the... means like they mentioned living room, kitchen, dining room. Have you got another room that we haven't mentioned? No, <laughs> all the common rooms. Yeah, no, like so maybe I have, have one, house. which is the ironing room or the utility room, which is just for the washing and the ironing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I mean, I'm not under that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, right. Uh, which is your favorite room, Elena? Which is your favorite room? It's my my own room because uh, I feel comfortable here. I it's my space. Well, even if you have three children, it's not really your space. But still, I try to keep it as my space. Uh, and my favorite balcony also is here, so it's my room. And you, Nisa? Um, I I like my kitchen. Your kitchen. <laughs> my kitchen, yes. I I I I usually close the door, and uh, also is my kitchen is very small. But uh, I when I I'm there, uh, uh, my family leave me alone, and I cook. And, and <laughs> when I was in the kitchen before, I wouldn't let anybody in the kitchen with me. Yes, yes, me too. It was like <laughs> my space, alone. you can't come in. And they never used to understand that, why I didn't want anyone in the kitchen with me. Because I don't mm -hmm. know, it's just uh, this special feeling you have. Yeah, and yeah. Which is the room you least like, that you don't like? Uh, okay. mm. Interesting question. <laughs> Maybe there isn't one. So it's just a question. And maybe there isn't a problem with this. So, for example, if someone didn't like cooking, they could say the kitchen. No? <laughs> yes. Or if someone had a very small bathroom and they would like a bigger one, they could have said that. No, But in our case, we don't have a problem. Yeah. No, right. And to finish with this, when you go away, what do you miss about your house? So maybe you have to imagine the answer. But No, no, I know. When you answer. travel... My what bed. do you miss? My bed. Bad. Bed. Your bed. bed. Yes. <laughs> and Elena? Easy. I miss, I miss all my house because every place is comfortable for me. My bathroom, my kitchen, I know what uh, scenes where they are. So I miss every detail. Uh, um, when I used to travel before, I think I missed my pillow. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> my pillow and my bed. I think that's what I missed. The other things uh, weren't that important, no? Um, and also I like my shower, but that's ah, second, yeah, yeah. it's not yes, that important. Very private things, yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if I had to choose, choose just one, it would be my pillow and my bed. Even though I can adapt to other things. Mm, me too. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, the girls, we're going to leave it there for the moment, uh, talking about uh, houses. Thank you for your time. Thank and you, us to talk about yeah, this. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Nisa. Bye.